Alrighty. Hey there guys, it's Silver, your host, and we are back for more Pokemon Crystal. And I just did some research on what we need to do next. And it turns out that we are locked out from facing a few gym leaders and doing a few things. I cannot get to Brock first because we need the EXPN card in order to get the poker flute to move the Snorlax. And I forgot to get the radio card from Goldenrod. So the only way I'm going to be able to get that easily and without a lot of ridiculous backtracking now is to... In fact, there is no other way. I'm going to have to do the last little bit of the rocket quest line and restore the power plant. So Cerulean City, it seems, is our only viable option. We're going to have to do Cerulean City to unlock the Magnet Train, to go back to Goldenrod and get the Radio Guard. There's no other way we can do it. Why didn't I pick up the Radio Guard weeks ago? Weeks upon weeks, if not a couple, over a month ago now when we were in Goldenrod? Don't ask me. I had a moment of stupidity, we'll call it. Right, so as you can see, there's nobody here. We'll go and speak to the power plant guy. So we're gonna need a Pokemon we've cut. <clears throat> we've already got somebody with Surf through Dragonair. Was it our Venonat that had cut? I can't remember which one it was, it's been that long. It must have been our Venonat that had cut. We'll, um, grab it now. We'll grab it now. No, this Venonat doesn't have cut. Hold on. What else do we have? I know one of our Pokemon had cut. How else would we have gotten through Azalea Forest? Hold on. Probably the Oddish. I know Oddish has cut. Yeah. Okay. Oddish. Here we go. Let's go. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Right, there's a notice here. Stamp out thievery and make the city a friendlier, more cheerful place. Cerulean Police. Doug Doug. We were held up by robbers before. I heard that some shady character is skulking about. I won't stand for it if he turns out to be a thief. Ah, this is the family from... Yellow that has the rocket steal from them. Okay. Fair is fair. We'll go and speak to the power plant manager first. Get this tree cut down. Excellent. That's going to be an unavoidable battle there. We'll keep Fang up front though. We'll do that. Is there a way to dodge some of these trainers and come back to them later? Silver. Hey, you, don't litter. I love the Kanto battle theme. It pleases me greatly. Camper Sid. Oh god. Hello, Doug Trio. Alright, we'll surf it out. Done and done. Alright, the Doug Trio is down. It's fast, it outsped our Dragonair. Prime it. 
bring out Valentine for this one. Alrighty, hit it with Cybeam. And Polyrath. Part fighting. We'll stick with Cybeam. Alright. And it survived. Oh lord. Thanks for that, Polyrath. Bang, if you want to finish, be my guest. Double slap. It puts us to sleep and then proceeds to double slap. Okay. Extreme speed for the finish. Right. Good, good. I was just pointing it out. Alright. We're going to have to go through some of these trainers then, it seems. Yep. Indeed we are. I came to explore Rock Tunnel. Very nice. Nice to see you, Mr. Trainer. What have you got, Campadine? Golduck. Fantastic. Hmm. Extreme speed. Good, good. Alrighty. Defense down. Hmm. I entail. Uh, of course. Of course. Extreme speed it is, then. Okay. Why would you psych up when you've lowered our defense? Don't get that. Don't get that at all. Sand slash, that's fine. Straight down we go. Surf it. Excellent. Whoa, danger, man. I like that. That gave me a giggle. Danger, man. Okay. Let's go. Oh, Lord. Hikers. We'll get him on the way back, then. Ugh. A picnicker. Have you ever been to a picnic? They're so much fun. Don't think I've been to a picnic since I was a little kid, to be honest. Right. What we got, Heidi? Skip loom. Right. Bring on the iron tail. Whack. Yep, that's good. Good damage there. What do we got next? Another skip loom. Bell, come on out. Awesome. Sludge bomb. Oh. Okay. Right. To the power plant we go. Which means we're going to have to surf. Water is calm. Want to surf? Indeed I do. Indeed I do. 
Hello, random water Pokemon. Tis a Sea King. Level 15. Keep on going. Route 10. I know you can get Electabuzz out front of here. Raticate. A thief broke into the power plant. What is the world coming to? Bad things. Very bad things. The power plant has been abandoned in the past. We got it back up and running to provide power to the magnet train. Someone made off with a part that's essential for the generator. Without it, the new generator is useless. Well, that isn't good, is it? I call it Pokemon. Do you have a Doug Trio? Want to trade it for my Magneton? You don't want to trade? No. The Magnet Train consumes a lot of electricity. It can't move if the new generator isn't operating. The power plant's manager is up ahead. But since someone wrecked the generator, he's been both sad and furious. Manager. I'm... I, I'm ready to blast someone. Who would dare ruin my generator? I spent so much time on it. If I catch him, he's going to get a taste of my zap cannon. Alright. The power plant's man- Yep, yeah, we've read this already, sorry. Okay. So I guess we should double back now, right? Oh no, phone call. I just got word from Cerulean. It appears that a shady character has been loitering around. Could I ask for your cooperation? Yeah, I guess so. We will assist you. When we're not having to deal with, deal with Schoolboy Jack and his antics. Let's go. If your opponent is a flying Pokemon, Gust becomes more powerful. I did not actually know that. Right. Okay. Good thing is now... We've unlocked the Pokemon Center here, or we will have done in a second after we use it. Then I can take Oddish out and put Pidgeotto back in, at least for the time being. And we can fly back and forth without having to cut trees. The power plant's manager is looking for a strong Pokemon trainer. He needs help getting back something that was stolen. Alright. Heal up. And we'll fly. Good, good. Right. Okay, Pidgeotto. Take us back to Cerulean City. Wait, we can't use the Pokemon Center here as a flying point? Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. I thought we could. Oh well, must have misremembered. Here we go. Hmm. I thought it was on this bridge. I must have misremembered. 
My brain often muddles things up into the wrong order. Does that quite a bit, actually. Right. Here we go. Oops, I so sorry. You're not hurt, okay? I'm very busy, no time for talking with you. Not good time if been seen by somebody. Oh no, you've seen me already. I make big mistake. Hey you, can we get you see me, okay? You see here, no nothing, okay? Bye kid, nothing. Bye bye, a go go. That was amusing. Not gonna lie. That was amusing. Alright. Good chance to get Valentine some more XP. Get them up to par with everybody else. Hello, random rocket. Hey, kid. Me a member. Me a Team Rocket member kind of guy. Come from another country. You're trainer number one, me. Think I did? If stop the energy. Big panic. Oh, sorry. If stop the energy, big, big panic for here, people. I'm getting tangled up trying to read this guy's dialogue. Secret is my mission, so I'll tell you why I'm not. But if you win. If you, sorry, if when you do versus me, a man I be, and mine secret to you I tell. Hey kid, battle begin we do. Then again, I'll be honest, I know a fair few native English speakers with grammar rivaling this guy. So, you know, I ain't judging too hard. Sybe. It survived. Valentine, we need to do something about your stats. We really do. We really do. Okay. Aye. No, no. Believe it, I can't. Strong very much be you. Match I am not to you. Okay. Tell you mine secret, will I? Machine parts steal by me. Hide it I did in gym of the Cerulean. Inside water. Put it I did. Look for in water center of gym at. But you forget me not. But you for sure will, Team Rocket. Come from Johto, will they? Mine friends, yes. Will revenge they are. You say what? Team Rocket, bye bye a go go? Broke it, says you? Oh no. Should do what? Now on from me. Okay. Okay. That solves that little problem. Let's go and get the machine parts from the Cerulean Gym. We probably need to take out our Pokemon that can surf in order to actually pick up the machine part. Give me a sec. Take Fang out for a minute. Good, good. All right. Try again, as well. To finding machine part, we must. There we go. Good, good. Finding of machine part done, have we? Sorry, I'll stop talking like the rocket now. Okay. Right. Righty righty. Good 
Good, good. Yeah, we really can't fly back to that Pokemon Center. We're going to have to use... Oddish to cut. Good, good. Very nice. Cut can be tree. Cut won't use you, will. Use cut, Oddish did. Sorry. Sorry, I will stop, I promise. Okay. Right. Ugh. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Thought we'd battled him already, I misremembered. She'll be going around Mount Silver when she comes. Mount Silver is in Johto, right? Indeed it is, friend. Indeed it is. Right, Hiker Tim sent out Graveler. Right. Graveler has garbage special stats, and even then, it still managed to hang on in there. Oh my lord. Valentine, we are going to have to swap you out, I'm afraid. Fang, if you would. Here we go. Let's get surfing. Alrighty, surf again. I mean, it is base 95 power. It's pretty good. I was too busy singing. Your singing wasn't that bad, friend. Right. We'll go heal Valentine. Because Valentine got hit very hard there. Right. Put Oddish back in the PC and grab Pidgeotto again. Right. Good. Okay. Go back to the manager. Give him his machine palm. Hello, Voltorb. Right. Good. Encounters. Thank you, Encounters.
Okay, Mr. Manager, we have come to the rescue. Ah, yeah. That's the missing part from my beloved generator. You found it. <laughs> Thanks. Here, take this TM as a reward. Zap cannon. TM7 is my zap cannon. It's a powerful technique. It's not what anyone would consider accurate, but it packs a wallop. Yep, it has atrocious accuracy at only 50%. A 1 in 2 chance of hitting. If it does hit though, it certainly... Certainly does the damage. Alright. So the power plant issue has been resolved. Next up, we will... Head on down. Using this helpful little... Actually, we don't need to use the tunnel. Right, here we go. Magnet train. My daughter likes to mimic people. Her mimicry has earned her the nickname Copycat around here. She recently lost the poke doll, but... A boy gave her three years ago. Ever since then, she's gotten even better at mimicry. Blissey. Hello, Blissey. Right. I'll stop saying right in this part, I promise. It's just to uh, prompt my thoughts while I speak. Hi. I heard that you lost your favorite polka doll. If I find it, you'll give me a rail pass. I'll go find it for you. You think you lost it when you went to Vermilion City? Pardon? I shouldn't decide what you should do. But I'm really worried. What if someone finds it? We'll head over there now and check, shall we? We will check for you. Go in the underground passage. Many cities in Johto have long histories I'd love to visit. There we go. We're back in Vermilion, and I remember how to do this bit quite clearly. Fisherman, we'll speak to him while we're here. And the fishing dude, the elder of the fishing bros. Have you met the fishing guru at Lake of Rage? He dreams about seeing the world's greatest magic art. If you don't mind, could you show him any magic art you catch? Who knows, you may catch the magic art of his dreams. The magic art of his dreams. Okay. Fair enough, fishing friend. Fair enough. Here we are. Pokemon fan club. All Pokemon fans welcome. I should hope so. I'm the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. I've raised over 150 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. Did you visit just to hear about my Pokemon? Yeah, sure. Good, then listen up. So my favorite, Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, unbearably. Plus, amazing, oh, you think so? Too much, wild, beautiful, kindly, love it. Hug it when sleeping, warm and cuddly. Oh, and spectacular. Ravishing. Simply divine. Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. Hey, a rare candy. It's a rare candy that makes, a po that makes Pokemon stronger. I prefer making my Pokemon stronger by battling, so you can have it. We'll speak to everybody else here. Look at my darling Bearleaf. The leaf on its head is so cute. Hello Bearleaf, we have a Meganium. Our chairman is very vocal when it comes to Pokemon. I have noticed. I have noticed. I love Clefairy, but I could never catch one. So I'm making do with a Pokedoll that I found. I see, now the girl who lost this Pokedoll is sad. Okay, 
Could you take this Pokedoll back to the poor little girl? The uh, poor little girl? I'll befriend a real Clefairy on my own one day. No worries. We have received the Pokedoll. But a lost item in the key pocket. You watch. I'm going to get a real Clefairy as my friend. Very nice. Very nice. I'm glad we didn't have to catch one and give him a Clefairy in order to get the doll back. Over many years, Diglett dug a large tunnel. That tunnel goes to a distant town. Awesome. Right. We'll return the doll to a copycat. Get the rail pass. Then we're finally going to head to Johto to get the card. Shouldn't take us too long to get. There we go. If I can line up with the door properly. Okay. Copycat. Yay, that's my Clefairy Polka doll. See the tear where the right leg is sewn on? That's proof. Okay, here's the magnet train pass like I promised. Excellent. That's the pass for the magnet train. The rail company gave me that when they tore down our old house for the station. Hi, thanks a lot for the rail pass. Pardon? It isn't that fun to mimic my every move? You bet. It's a scream. Goodness me. Hello, Dodrio. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fastest one of all? This is a rare Pokemon, huh? It's only a doll. Brent Pokemaniac again, really? I'll just, um, leave him be, shall I? Rare Pokemon, huh? It's only a doll. Okay, we have the rail pass. Let's head back to Goldenrod, shall we, for a minute? And get the, um, the card that we should have done well before the post game. Before the Magnet train station was built, there was a house here. A little girl named Copycat used to live there. Oh, sorry, there was a house there, not here. Okay. Hi, do you have a rail pass? I have one. All the people in Saffron who ride the magnet train have passes. We'll soon depart for Goldenrod. Are you coming on board? May I see a rail pass, please? Okay, right this way, please. Back to Johto we go. Perfect. We arrived in Goldenrod. We hope to see you again. Beautiful. Now then. This is long overdue. Welcome. We have a special quiz campaign on right now. Answer five questions correctly to win a radio card. Slide it in your poker gear to play the radio anytime, anywhere. Would like to take the quiz. Question one. Is there a Pokemon that appears only in the morning? Yes. Is this statement correct? You can't buy a berry at a mart. Yep. Nope. Yes. And the last one. I think they do? Oh god. Sorry. Um, I'll try this again. I thought they did. The ones in Celadon probably do and I've misremembered. Yep. Now then. Yep. Nope. 
Yep. And last of all, no. Bingo. You got it. Congratulations. Here's your prize, a radio card. Long overdue, as I said. Please tune, tune in to our radio shows. Long. Long overdue. Okay. Now we just need to get the EXPN card. And we can move the Snorlax out the way and go to Brock's gym. We've arrived in Saffron. We hope to see you again. Right. To Celadon we go then. To Celadon we go. Actually, no. Wrong way. We don't go to Celadon. We'll come back there later. But now, we need to go to Lavender. Route 8. The other way. We're going to actually put the Queen in front here. Hmm, you've got many gym badges. Indeed we have, friend. Indeed we have. Super Nerd Tom wants to battle. Sends out Magnemite. Excellent. Right, sock it to him. Straight down. The Queen hits hard. And another one. Keep on punching. Done and done. And one more for the road. Whack. Just as I thought. You're tough. Alrighty. Now we should be able to get the EXPN card. Hey there. I'm the Super Music Director. Oh, you poke gay cartoon into my music programs? How unfortunate. If you get an EXPN card, you can tune in. You'd better get one. We have to get one of our own accord. Oh lord, how do we do that? I don't actually remember. I don't actually remember how to do that. Um. Tell you what. For now, we'll head back the way we came. That is indeed what we will do. Avoid all those bikers for the moment. Well, apart from this top one here, we can't avoid him. With the Kanto Pokemon Federation trainer group, we'll drive you under our wheels. How nice of this guy. Queen, if you would like to deal with this fellow and his very spiky hair. Okay, army of coughings. Right, get a punching. And Valentine. Side beams all round.
One more coughing. Gotta be honest, I would have like I would have liked at least a little bit of challenge from some of these trainers. Probably mentioned this a few times now. It's all right. It's fine. Sorry. Indeed. Hold on. Hold up. Swing back around. And now, that biker should have repositioned. Yes. Excellent. Back to Celadon. No, actually, we'll stay in Saffron. Because what I'm going to do for now, my awesome people, we've been recording for a while. We have sorted out the whole magnet train issue and gotten our radio card. Now I'm going to figure out how to get the EXPN card, which I assume means the expansion card. And then I am going to deal with the Snorlax in front of Diglett's Cave, head over to Brock's gym and take on Brock. Because like I said, I would prefer to do these gym leaders in order just for interest's sake so to all of you who've stopped in you've all been super awesome thank you very much for showing the support it is very much appreciated always happy to bring some pokemon to you fine people and if you would like to support what we do here a little further you can of course support us on patreon for just two pounds fifty a month or three dollars the same price as a small cup of coffee or a bus ticket. And every silver patron gets an exclusive patron shout out at the end of every live stream pre recorded Let's Play part. Not at all essential, but very much appreciated. And the links to that are in the video description and the channel's about section. A special thank you to our first silver patron at the time of recording this video, Mr. Jonathan. You are super awesome. And. To everybody else who stopped in, again, you are equally as awesome. Thank you very much. But this is where we're going to leave it. Thank you very much for stopping in, everybody. And I will, of course, see you in the next one. So, guys, I have been Silver, your host. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or night. And I'll see you again very soon. Take care, guys.